Hey guys, welcome to another detailing video. My name is Tony from Tony's Professional Touch, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about customers, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now let's get started. Hey Tony, how'd you get this customer? Um, off of that that Jeep that we did in the morning, that first one. Yeah. Off of him. Oh. There, uh, he used to have a Jeep. This cu this customer, had, uh, and they were, like, I guess, uh, in the same club. And from there, from me detailing the that first Jeep client, um, he recommended him to this guy. All right, Tony. Well, what was the job for this? Uh, just the maintenance every Friday, mm. every week. What does the maintenance consist of? Uh, literally a mini detail. Just a little bit cheaper since he does it every week. So it doesn't get as dirty. So instead of 80 bucks, um, him, he still gets the old price. Now it's not as cheap anymore, but he gets 65. Now it's like uh, 70 for weekly. Okay. Hey, but you knocked it out pretty quickly. Yeah, almost done. Still got a few things to go, but yeah, I try to knock it out like in an hour. So we're doing a Tesla Model 3? Yeah. Let me ask you. You ever get intimidated by working on fancy cars? Uh, no, not really. Have you ever worked on a fancy car? Yeah. Like what? Bentleys, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, off the record. Nah, mm -hmm. it's pretty on the record because I'm recording. <laughs> but um, the Lamborghinis and this and that, mm -hmm. what kind of packages do they get? For the most part, um, it's either mini details or level threes. Mm. It's either one of those two, it just what, depends. What's the level three again? Um, full paint correction, ceramic coating. Mm. So yeah, they usually get that first and then they'll do like the mini details after that just for like maintenance. All right, man. And uh, do you have a favorite type of customer though? Um, like the ones that aren't so picky or the ones that want the full works, the ones that hit you up every week or every now and then? I guess the ones that are like pretty often, um, like book me in pretty often, I'm appreciative of those more, I guess. <laughs> well, how come you like them? Because um, it's consistent money or is it because, yeah, you know? Yeah, more support, like whoever just like uh, shows the most love yeah. and then shouts out my business and stuff and keeps booking and keeps recommending others. Those are probably my favorite customers. All right. <laughs> hey, has a customer ever ghosted you before? Like for example, they get your, they're in the maintenance program for a couple of weeks or months, uh -huh. and then they go shoot, they go somewhere else, and then they try to come back. Yeah, it's happened. Yeah. Yeah, Wait. usually they forget or something, or I don't know. Mm. It's just like, like, I don't know. <laughs> I've had like two people have done that. Do you take them back? Uh, most of the time, yeah. It just yeah. depends. But I'll charge them like regular price for the first few times, and then after that, I can get them like the, the special deal for getting back on the program. Talking about packages, uh -huh. which ones are your favorite, Tony? Like to do? Yeah. Um, new vehicle paint protection packages and uh, level ones are pretty fun. What's like the level one? The paint sealant, and clay and wet and sealant. Um, I don't really like those. Don't don't like for example the paint correction. Mm -hmm. Don't those take forever? Yeah, but um, it's pretty. Sometimes depend on the car because sometimes it can be really stressful. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it's not like when it's an easy paint to work with. It's like relaxing and then just listen to either music or podcast and just pretty chill. Like um, the Mustang mm -hmm. we did. Remember the first day I recorded with you? Yeah. That was paint correction. Yeah. How did it go, man? I, I didn't get to see the end result, but... It went pretty good. That was a little stressful. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to take, but it was fun. What took... Why did it take longer than expected? Um, it was just a little bit harder to work with the paint. Because um, it's black? Yeah, I guess so. Just to try to perfect everything, it was just taking a bit longer. Okay. But you got it done? Yeah, and the customer was happy and everything. Did you finish in two days or you had to go back? No, I finished in two days. I, st I think I finished the last day like at 12. 12 hours? Like, no, 12 a.m. So I started like at 7 or something and I finished at 12 a.m. Midnight? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get it done earlier, but I, I was, my goal was to get it done the next day at 5 p.m. Yeah. But it, it just wasn't going to happen. Hey, Tony, mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot of people stop. This happens to all the detailers yeah. I work with. Yeah. You got customers rolling by, <laughs> be like, hey, I'm Nats. Or, hey, how much you charge? That's the most common question, right? Yeah. How much you charge? Yeah. So when they come up to you and say, how much you charge, what's your pitch? Do you give them the price right away or do you try to see what they need? 
Um, usually, I'll just give them the price right away, unless they, or I'll ask, hey, what type of car do you have, and what type of detailing you're looking for, but most of the time they ask, like, uh, how much for a car wash right away, and I'll just tell them right away, 80 bucks. 80 bucks, and then, what's the reaction? Like, I'll say, you... I'll say like 90% of them usually say no, or just thanks, or I'll let you know. Yeah. Um, and then, like, there's probably a few that take a card and maybe call me or text me, but I'll probably say probably only a few bucks, like, maybe 5%. They, they take you up on that yeah <laughs> or they'll like ask about other packages and oh. take me up on something else something more expensive so if they're a little bit more interested mm -hmm. that kind of tells you hey this person might be a potential customer yeah when they ask for cards and stuff uh, i just let them know text me and then we'll talk about it later all right um, man talking about customers mm -hmm. you told me which ones you like and uh -huh. the packages now which customers not hate but don't like working with even when you first started you have to learn some things the hard way. I would say the low balling customers and the ones that um, like bail out last minute. Yeah. Like those, um, it just gets annoying. Or like they book something big and then they just bail out last minute or cancel. Or also the ones like if we book a shop drop off and we book for a certain like time and they don't either don't show up or show up like really late. Those are just like mess up the whole schedule. How come you don't take deposits? I do, it just depends. Depends on what? Uh, the package and the person. Like if you know them and trust if, them. If we've done business before and stuff and they've been on time and like uh, worth, like I guess loyal or whatever, like uh, I've seen that they can make it on time and they usually don't like back out, then I won't charge them a deposit. But if it's a first time client, I usually charge them deposits. Um, that's about it. 50% yeah. or? Uh, it depends on the package. Like mm. per, it's by package. But uh, for the most part, uh, basically, yeah, like. For many details, it's a little bit over 50%, it's like 50 bucks. So I, I'd say it's a minimum of 50 bucks. All right, Tony, since we're talking about customers, mm -hmm. the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yep. Has a customer ever done you dirty? Like you did a wash and they're like, I don't think it's worth what you're charging, I'm gonna give you this. Or just ghosted you, or anything like that ever happened before? Um, Not that I can like remember. Maybe accuse you of stealing by accident, maybe, you know? Nope. <laughs> Wait, you mean to tell me? No, come on, Tony. You never had one bad customer. I had bad customers, but like it was like in like my honest fault. Like it wasn't like uh, like something. Did, it was just my fault. <laughs> did they overreact or? Nah, or? they were pretty calm about it. They just let me know. Like um, in the beginning, uh, when I was like trying to learn um, like pay correction and stuff, the I someone contacted me to fix their roof, but the roof the the um, the clear coat was already like pretty messed up and oxidized, but I thought I could fix it, so I tried. I spent like five hours, and I, I glossed it up a little bit, but it wasn't that great. But in the process of doing that, I wasn't being careful with, my, with the cord of the machine, and it was like scratching the doors. <gasps> so I had to polish that, and that was it. I just had to take care of it. Oh, but um, that... he, I didn't see it until he came out, because I just finished the roof, and that was all I was like, paying attention to. So when he came out, he saw the roof, but then he saw his doors and they're like all pretty scratched. And then, so he got upset about that and let me know. And then I just had to fix it that same day. Oh, that's a rookie mistake though. Yeah. Nothing big. <laughs> all right, Tony. Yeah. All right. I thought you were gonna tell me, oh yeah, this guy tried to stab me <laughs> or, na or nah. Nah. Oh. All right, Tony, what's left? Uh, just windows, and then that's it. And that's it. That's done for the maintenance wash. Yeah, we gotta go. We're late, late. It's almost four. Hey, so your mm -hmm. maintenance wash, the what do you call it? Uh, simp. My mini detail. Mini detail. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Yeah. Hey, have you ever had customers being confused of what mini detail does? Like, for example, you're done, and they go, "Hey, you didn't take off these stains." Or hey, did you spray wax on my car? Mm, not, nah. They're usually not confused because I let them know, and I'll and I'll send them pictures of like the package, yeah. and the the picture I send them, like says what the package includes. Because when I talk to people, I usually only say, uh, details foam wash, interior detail, and spray wax, just because it takes a while to break it all down and be like, oh well, the detail foam wash includes all this and that and blah blah. blah. So I'll just say it like that, and then I'll send them a picture or show them, and they can read it all if they wanted to. So you send new customers pictures yeah. of what they're going to get. Mm -hmm. That works for you? Yeah. They could just see what it includes on all the packages and then uh, And then you choose. let them make their own decision yeah. what they want to choose? Yeah, or um, 
it depends sometimes they want me they want my recommendation and i'll either have them come in or book like a, a basic and then after the basic i'll inspect the vehicle and stuff and let them know what i would recommend for the next time okay hey mm -hmm. i've been following this is the second time i'm following you mm -hmm. do you upsell or uh, do you just go and do what they want for the most part i don't upsell i just go doing what they want um with new clients i try to um after i detail their car i automatically let them know what i would recommend mm. but i always talk to them first and see if they plan on keeping the vehicle for a long time or if they are trying to sell it or get rid of it um that way i can recommend the proper stuff because you, you don't want to recommend a level three to someone's trying to get their car like rid, rid of the car in like the next month or something it just wouldn't be worth it for them okay guys so there you go uh let me know your bad experiences down in the comments below Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.